Hi, I'm Paul Perdue, and I'm the infrastructure nerd. And I'm Mary Jo Boyd, a legal technologist. You know, a lot of people store their documents in Practice Master, and so what they'll do is they'll open up the client file, go to a certain matter, click on the documents tab, and start to look for the document that they want. But what happens if they just want to look for a specific document, regardless of what the matter is? Well, not many people know it, but there's a neat way to, to search all documents. That would be really cool. Can you show us how? I sure can. Okay, so as I said, most people that are using document management are used to going into the client, finding a particular matter. We'll look at Michael Larson's workers' comp matter. Clicking on the document tab and looking for documents this way. So they might look at all documents um, and, and that sort through that way. They may say, show me my documents or show me a certain type and look for med recs and, and find it that way. If you don't have these quick views, uh, it just means no quick views have been set up within document management for you. And, and that's a different topic. But, but these quick views, when they are set up, and these are the ones that come out of the box, at least with the sample data, uh, they can be very helpful. Okay. Now, also within this view in the client file, looking at the document tab for that particular matter, you do have the ability to search the list. So if I was on, for instance, all documents, I could look for the word test. And you'll see that it's searching. Now it's found everything, and there were four documents that have the word test. Or you can get into a little fancier and say, well, I want to find everything where the, uh, where the description has the word pickle. And it is going to tell me that there are no documents with the word pickle in the description. However, there are documents with the word test in the, word, in the description. Um, but that's, that's not really what I was here to show you. Uh, you can also open the document management file as a whole. Right now, I'm looking at document management tab specifically for Michael Larson's .00 matter, which happens to be a workers' comp matter. But I can also open the document management file as a whole without regard for what matter by clicking on documents in the menu and then document management. Now here, if I were to get over to all, I'm looking at more than just the documents we were looking at when we were Michael Larson. I'm looking at every document that's in Practice Master. Not many because it's my sample system, but you can see when you look at this client number over here, client ID, that uh, it's way more than just the 100.00 that we were looking at when we were looking at Michael Larson. So I can then come in here and do the same sort of searching and say, well, I want to search for certain fields. Keep in mind that the fields you can search are only the fields that are being displayed based on the particular type of column layout that you have selected. Again, that's something for a different, different uh, video. It's a different topic, column layout management. But the document fields you can search up here have to do with which column layout you have selected and which fields are displayed in that column layout. So this is kind of handy, too, to be able to come into the document um, tab uh, and for all matters, which is what I'm looking at now, as opposed to what I was looking at before, which was the document tab for a specific matter. Uh, but again, that's not really what I'm here to show you either. I'm here to show you this, documents and then document search. There are a lot of people that are using document management that have never even seen this. Now, this was designed to search for a specific word. So if I type test, and I'm just going to make sure I have all selected for everything here and hit search. It's looking for the word search, uh, test. And it finds it. And when it finds it, it's going to show me what matter it was, it's going to give me the matter name, when it was modified, it's going to give me a link to the document name, going to show me the description. So if I click on the matter when it's highlighted, I go into that client matter within Practice Master. If I click on the document when it's highlighted, I actually load that document. So this is our document search report that shows me all the occurrences of whatever I typed back here. And as you can see, there's a lot of ways to narrow this down. Now, you must always have a word here. You can't just search for, you know, a certain client or a certain doc type or specific users because it's going to tell you you need to have a search term. But you can have a search term and then narrow down 
and say, well, I only want uh, documents that have the word test um, that were modified between 1113 and 1118 of 2014. My demo system thinks that the date is 111714, so that's why that weird date range. Or only those that are, are in Michael Larson's workers' comp matter or Sarah Miller's uh, employment matter, as I've illustrated here. Or only documents that have certain doc types. But the nice thing about this is I can say I want multiple doc types and I want multiple clients. Or I want multiple users. And I, when I choose re, uh, user, I can choose whether I want the user that created the document or the one that's responsible for it. Those are both fields that appear uh, up in uh, the doc management uh, record. And, so, and I, again, can search for multiple. So I can say Ron and Robert are both people that I'm looking for. And so I can search for a certain word. I can even search for a certain file type. Star.pdf would mean all the PDF files. Star.star means everything, okay? So I have this ability then in this document search to search for a specific word for a specific group of documents, types of documents, for specific dates or all, for both modified, created, and recorded, the record date, uh, for certain clients, for certain doc types, for certain users, with the ability to select multiples in each of these three things. And then over here, we are allowed to say whether if I had a, a test, um, if I had a word, uh, a group of words, test account, for instance, whether I need to match all words or just one word, whether or not phonetic search should be used so that if I were, in, uh, for instance, looking for Purdue, it would find P-U-R-D-U-E, but it would also find phonetic equivalents like P-E-R-D-U-E. Whether or not uh, to use stemming, which is a grammatically similar phrase, and whether to use fuzzy search, which is going to allow common misspellings to uh, come into play. And that's important because uh, a lot of times you'll be searching for something and it may be misspelled here where you've typed the search term, or it may be misspelled in the document. And so a fuzziness level that's higher will allow more misspellings in and a fuzziness level that's lower will allow less. And finally, what are you searching? Are you searching just the document management records? And uh, if you are searching the document management records, are you also including all versions or just the latest version? Are you searching email attachments and are you searching linked documents, which are uh, documents that are linked from other places other than document management records? So you can stipulate, I only want to search document management records, I don't want to search email attachments, but I do want to search all versions. You can say I want a fuzziness level of five, a phonetic search so that Purdue will come up even if it's spelled wrong, like the chicken instead of the university who would ever spell their name that way. Um, and so now if I do this search, let's see what happens. I think I'm going to get nothing because I don't know if I'm in any of these documents. Let's then go back to test and search. And these are all the documents that have the word test that were created by either Ron or Robert, but for some other reason, like the doc types or the specific clients. So let's say all clients and all doc types. And again, search for test. See what we get. Cross our fingers. Nope. It must be the date range. Let's choose all dates and search again. And now we're going to find those documents that have the word test because these were uh, created at different times other than the, the modified date. Um, no, nope, modified. So there you have it. This is the document search tab that will allow you to look for a specific word or phrase with a whole bunch of other things selected across all the documents that you have in Practice Master, not just a specific matter. So while it is helpful to be able to go into a client matter and look at the documents and maybe use this functionality up here to allow you to search for specific things, and while it is helpful to go straight into the document management record uh, file and, and search across all clients, again, using these things or these quick views or just a straight search, 
the most powerful thing that you have at your disposal is document search where you're searching for a specific phrase and zeroing in on things based on users or doc types or clients or date ranges and then using these things to help you decide how close it's going to come based on phonetic or fuzziness or stemming or what it's going to search. So there you have it, the various ways to, to search for documents in Practice Master. And that's just one more way that we can help you to worry less and practice more. Thank <laughs> you.